Greetings, Warrior fans. I'm Sports Information Director Mike Stetson. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the Warrior Weekly Show. This week, we're talking with Katie Schutcher. The women's basketball team went on the road on Monday, scored a big win to open NSAA play, and they sit in first place as they head to the holiday break. So we'll talk about the game up there against Viterbo, as well as how things have been going for the Lady Warriors on the basketball court. Also wanted to let you know, fans, the women will be in action on December 13th, Thursday, here at the Hanson Fieldhouse for their final home game before the Christmas break. So be sure to come out, 6 o'clock tip-off against Nebraska Christian. This will also be the last edition of the Warrior Weekly Show. Until next calendar year, we'll resume our editions in the middle of January once the students are back on campus and uh, there's more activities going on. I want to thank you for joining us, and now it's time for the Warrior Weekly Show. Fans. Today we're joined by Katie Schutcher, whose team happens to be leading the North Star Athletic Conference. I know it's early in the year, but hey, you know, you got to win the first game, so that's a great start yeah. to the year. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, first off, let's talk about, obviously it's only one game. Obviously it's the start of the season, but how big is it to go into the break having part of the lead in the conference mm -hmm. and having played that well on the road? Yeah. Um, it's really big for our team from the standpoint that, um, you know, getting that first conference win, you know, especially after a year, you know, so far this first semester we've had a lot of adversity that um, I think has hindered some of our playing ability. We haven't been able to really practice our whole team together um, in quite a while. So be able, being able to start the conference season 1-0 um, and, and shooting the ball well, which kind of led to that conference win for us, I think should give them a lot of momentum going into um, you know, the Christmas break and the tournament we're going to play in and hopefully continue on into the conference. You said shooting the ball well. Six different players in double figures. That's got to be nice to see. Mm -hmm. You talked earlier this year about not having one go-to player, having a lot of players who could score. And how nice was it that, that, that kind of a night? Because obviously they couldn't stop anybody mm -hmm. in particular because everybody was doing well. Yeah, you know, um, we did. We had five or six players in double figures that night. and. You know, I've always known this about our team. We do have a lot of different kids who can score on any given night. Um, you know, we've had had yet to have a game where they all have scored on one night, and I think that's obviously what helped lead to the um, to the win for us. You know, we had a lot of people step up, not just people who start in the starting lineup, but kids who came off the bench as well. So we had a lot of points off the bench. Um, but our team's able to do that. You know, we're able to score the ball this year, which is something that we haven't had a lot of depth with in the past. Um, it's just you know going to be it's going to be come down to being able to find the consistency um, to be able to do that every night out. And it seemed like the depth was a, a factor for you guys. It it was a factor earlier in the year mm -hmm. uh, when you would have a chance in games and then mm -hmm. slowly wear out of steam. But how nice was that? I mean, you guys dominated uh, the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that we have kind of struggled with um, leading up into that game. You know, where we get to that fourth quarter. You know, the first, in every game we've played in the first three quarters, we're beating our opponents. It's when we get to that fourth quarter and we are starting to struggle a little bit just because we do don't, we don't have a lot of bodies that we're playing. Um, but I think it was because we were shooting the ball well. It's always, when teams shoot the ball well, they find that extra momentum going into that fourth quarter, just kind of that extra zing and zip and effort and energy. And so being able to shoot the ball well going into that fourth quarter, I think, is um, definitely what helped keep their spirits, you know, help them find that um, extra adrenaline to you know to keep going and push through the game. It has been a tough uh, pre-conference schedule. You're playing top ranked teams like Northwestern, Division II teams mm -hmm. like uh, Augustana. Has that helped this team develop and, and become the team that uh, we saw mm -hmm. Saturday, or I guess Monday night? I, I would say definitely. Um, leading up into Monday's game, the best games in my opinion that we've played all year have been against our Division II competition and then um, Dort and Northwestern. I think those were the best four games we have played all year, shooting-wise, um, just playing together as a team, executing, doing the things that we are capable of doing. 
And so I think that definitely did help going into the conference game on Monday, you know, them understanding, you know, we want to be the driver, we want to take control um, going into the conference season. And I think being able to see the successes that they've had against really good competition help them, um, you know, just have a better positive mindset going in against the turbo. You guys, uh, Simpson this weekend on the road, then you get uh, a home game. Seems like it's been forever mm -hmm. since you got to play at home. Uh, how excited are you to finish up before the Christmas break with a couple of games here and then off to Florida? Yeah, it'll be a good couple of games. You know, Simpson's a pretty good Division Three team. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see what we can do against them because they're, they're going to play a completely different style than what we are used to seeing. Um, and then being able to have that home game, you know, the night before we take off for Florida is going to be really nice to get two games under our belts before going into Florida where we are going to play some pretty good competition um, down there. So it's not just going to be all fun and games. Hopefully we can get down there and take care of business as well. Disappointed that they're not conference games after you having a first uh, successful opener? <laughs> you know, it's yes and no. It was good to get that conference win. Um, I hope that having kind of these other games, you know, these games do matter, but at the same time, obviously the conference games, you know, when we get into that second semester, the, the focus is, you know, to win the conference or be one of the best teams in the conference. And so I think it's going to be kind of nice to maybe have a little bit of that break, um, you know, just to kind of make sure that they are focused. We still have some kinks that we need. Um, we need to get out. You know, we've been out. We played our, with our starting point guard on Monday, but she has been gone for about two weeks. Um, due to a family situation, you know, so being able to try to get her back into the swing of things um, and get some injuries healed up before we go into the conference play, I think will help us out a lot. Uh, talk about the Florida trip. What was it that got you guys going to Florida? I mean, there's a lot of people that are around here that are going to be jealous that you're going to mm -hmm. be down in the, the sun and the warmth. Yeah, you know, when I was a player, um, that was something that we did every year where I went to school. You know, we went Florida, Arizona, California, um, you know, so it's a good experience just from a team standpoint, you know, you get to get away and do something fun with your team, develop some team chemistry that way. It's also good to go down and play different competition, competition that you don't see, um, you know, when you're playing usually in your conference or even your preseason, your conference games. So it's good, it's good to go against different competitions so you can see different things um, to kind of help prepare you um, physically and mentally to go into the conference season. So yeah, it's going to be nice. Hopefully it's going to be warm. Not a lot of rain, hopefully, so it should be a good time. You guys get three, three, four days down there. Have you got anything special planned for the team, some of those fun activities, too? Not yet. Uh, we hope to win a couple ball games and then kind of celebrate those with hopefully some fun team activities. Talk a little bit about, uh, we saw Amon have a big game mm -hmm. on Monday. Uh, is that something that you hope to see continue? Definitely. She's been one that, you know, we've been kind of waiting all year to see when she was going to kind of light her fire. Um, and she definitely did that against Viterbo. We put her in the starting lineup to hope that that would help boost her confidence a little bit, and I think it definitely did. Um, and so she was able to kind of dominate inside, which is something that we just haven't had a lot of that this um, so far this season. So I hope you know that she's been able to establish some confidence with not just having a double double, but having kind of a huge double double. Um, and hopefully that'll just help her confidence. You know, help her continue. Um, to be successful because we're definitely going to have to have, you know, our offense is centered around having good post presence inside. And so hopefully um, just with having a great game like that and then having our backup um, post player with our freshman Liz Jenkins, you know, they can kind of work together and, you know, just kind of build each other's confidence going into the rest of the season. And uh, a couple of the newcomers, Emily and Maricela, they both had strong games. Do you feel like they're now into the flow of the team rhythm yeah. and all of that? They've got the newcomer jitters gone? Yeah, a little bit. They're definitely settling into what we want to do as a team, offensively and defensively. You know, they're both in completely different roles where, um, you know, especially Emily, she was such a big scorer for her team last year. And, and we do still look for her to contribute offensively, but it's obviously on a much smaller scale because we do have a lot of people, um, a lot of kids on this team that can go off on any given night. Um, you know, and having um, mods at the point guard, it's been really nice as well because we've been able to move Morgan to a two guard, which is a much better position for her anyway. So, you know, our team is definitely much better because we do have those two kids kind of stepping in and filling those roles. How nice is it? The, the finals will get done. You guys can just focus on basketball for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. How nice will this next few weeks be just to be able to be a team and, yeah. and forget about I think it'll be things. a lot of fun. You know, that was something I always enjoyed as a player. I enjoyed the Thanksgiving breaks, the midterm breaks, fall breaks, Christmas breaks. I really enjoyed that as a player because you do. You don't have to focus on anything but basketball and having fun with your team. And I think that is going to be a good opportunity for our team to really um, be able to come together a little bit more and really learn more about each other. And I think that will really help us going into the conference um, season, just developing a little bit more of that team chemistry, that team unity that I think we do lack on certain nights. Um, and so I think, you know, not having to worry about the studies, the finals, and things like that, I think will definitely help our team going into the conference season. 
want to remind you fans that the ladies play Saturday. They're at Simpson. If you feel like it, take a little road trip. Go watch the ladies. Cheer mm -hmm. them on. Uh, if you can't, they'll be online. You can watch them. And then definitely Thursday night, come on out. Uh, the last home game before Christmas, uh, the 13th, the ladies 6 o'clock tip off against Nebraska Christian. It's a game that was changed on the schedule, but be sure to come out Thursday night and cheer the ladies on to victory uh, before the Christmas break. Appreciate your time, Coach. Uh, good luck this week. Good luck in Florida. Enjoy the <laughs> sun down there. You will. <laughs> and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much.